many, many years ago. I was walking, hiking, just out in the woods. And I was going to be there a while. I had all my gear with me, and I was ready to just camp and be off by myself. It was going to be a great weekend. I was really excited. And I got to a place, parked the car, and I started hiking. And it was still early in the morning, but that night, that evening, uh, I started looking for places camp and set up camp and at the foot of a mountain I set up camp and it was pretty cool I was laying in my tent and watching that as the sun went down behind me I was looking out and I could see the shadow of the earth rise along the side of this mountain just rise up the, this line of shadow went straight up the side of the mountain inch by inch as the sun went down it was beautiful. Right at the very top of the mountain, I noticed when the light got to it, there was a cave. It made me curious. I was like, wow, I wonder what's inside that cave. I, I, and I started looking while there was still light, and I could actually pick out like a way to climb, hike, walk up there, get up there. Somehow, tomorrow I would figure it out. I could see that it was accessible. And so I thought I would give it a shot. In the morning, oh, I got excited. I came up and uh, I, for whatever reason, all the tiredness hit me and I just passed out and I slept so well until the middle of the night. In the middle of the night, I woke up with a start but I couldn't move. I don't know what was going on. And I started to try to get my senses about me, and I realized someone was sucking on my thumb. My thumb. That was so weird. What are they doing? And I realized that it was kind of hurting. And it was their teeth. They had bitten my thumb. And then I realized, oh my gosh, it's a vampire. It's sucking all the blood out of my thumb. And my thumbs were getting small like they are now. Smaller and smaller and shrinking down. And my hands, the blood was coming out of my hands. And it was shrinking. They were shrinking down too. And my arms had gotten smaller already. Oh, I was getting so nervous. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? And then, for some reason, I don't know how vampires work. He took a breath and had to yawn. Oh, he yawned and he stretched. And it gave me exactly the opportunity I need. I tried to punch him. Well, now my arms were small like this already. I couldn't punch anybody. It's more of what I call now a mid slap, I guess. I mean, anyway, it doesn't hurt. Clearly, I didn't realize that, but I tried it anyway. And this is how it went. All in one motion, I slapped that vampire. And it got him right in the nose. Now, you know, if you get hit in the nose just right, and a tiny little hand is the one that did the hitting, it won't hurt. It won't even make you bleed. But what it did do is it made him sneeze. And so this is how it went. I slapped him in the nose. He started to sneeze. <gasps> and... That gave me my chance. I finally had enough energy. I rolled her over, and I was trying to get out of the way, and I sneezed, and he sneezed, and he blew all of that blood, and his fangs landed right smack into my butt, and he blew all that blood back into my butt. And that is why I have small arms. And a big butt.